We're not here to hurt you, like I said, we just want to talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's that? We are back. Welcome to the very first episode of Paranormal Discovery. Step Cemetery, our very first paranormal investigation. This cemetery is located in the Morgan Monroe Forest in Martinsville, Indiana. There are many urban legends about this location. The most known one is of the lady in black who is said to protect the cemetery from intruders. Last time we were here, we captured some questionable photos. Here is one that I personally believe could be a bug or dust coming from the ground, but others on our team think otherwise. Here is one we cannot explain. If you look in the trees, you can see a bright light over the cursed stump. All lights are accounted for and pointing down at me. Before coming back, we found out that our co-founder's husband, John, had experience here over 30 years ago and hasn't been back since, till now. About 30 years ago, my husband and a friend of his was out here and they had some friends with them. And my husband said that he saw a black plug apparition floating right in between these two trees and they got scared and ran off. I can't help but wonder if this was the lady in black who's the famous phantom that scares visitors out of the cemetery. When returning, we realized something was missing. Last time we were here, there were a lot more tombstones in the cemetery. But after doing some more research, we found that people have been reported taking the stones and leaving them on hiking trails in the forest. Which brings me to mention that a satanic group has been doing their rituals here, or in a haunted cabin also in the forest called Draper's Cabin. Due to the fact it was a full moon that night, which is said to power paranormal activity, we guessed more people were going to visit, so we decided to do some daytime investigating. Is there anyone here with me? You know, if you come right in through here, this will pick you up and we'll know you're here with us. Hi, baby Lester. Mm -hmm. Can you say hi? Mm -hmm. If you like your toys, can you make that light up? Do you like the jacket somebody left for you? Do you like that baby over in the corner? Would you like that baby over here with your stuff? If you do, make it light up. Make this device light up. If there's anyone here, and you remember any of the three of us that are here, can you make that device light up? If you touch it, it'll light up. Is it easier to communicate at night? Right, 
Maybe we should try an EVP session. Is there anyone over here that wants to talk? Do you know Baby Luster? Can you name someone that's buried here? Do you know Baby Luster? Is there anyone here that would like to talk? What is your name? Where's Baby Luster's mother? Does she like to come and talk to me? We mean no disrespect. We just want to know more about what happens after we die. If there's anyone here that wants to communicate, can you tell us your name? What's the name of the cemetery? Radio. <laughs> There's some signal out here, so we're going to get some interference. Mm -hmm. Ms. Lewis, would you like to talk? Could you say your name so we know it's not the radio? Okay. Say your name, please. Do you remember my husband from 30 years ago? Can you say one of our names? Can you say Kelsey? Is 
Is this not easy to communicate through? After about six minutes of us doing a spirit box session, we were transitioning over to do another EVP session when a truckload of people showed up at the cemetery. This is when we ended our investigation. Even though we didn't catch any evidence this time, that doesn't mean this location isn't haunted. Step Cemetery will always have a place in our hearts. This is where we started our journey. Thank you for watching the first episode of Paranormal Discovery. Good night.